This is a Stand Up Labs production, powered by digital media. Hey, hey, Tuesdays. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and uh, are currently having a Happy Hanukkah. I think it's still going on. If you're looking to give uh, somebody, a loved one, a Tuesday, a present, we're doing a live podcast, January 10th, Tuesdays with Stories, at Stand Up New York. We're back, baby. We were supposed to do one last month, and then uh, Mark had to leave, and I'm not leaving. It was a whole shebang and shaboodle. But this time we're on, Tuesday, January 10th, live, Stand Up New York, 78th and Broadway, downstairs at the comedy club that we record the show at. Live episode, speak. Featuring guests, maybe some special guests, who knows, we'll be there live and in living color, like the TV show. And uh, we'll do be meet and greets afterwards, whatever, the whole thing. It'll be live hilarity. So be there live, get your tickets, go to standupny.com, Tuesday, January 10th. Mark and I, this is Joe, uh, ripping it and gripping it, having some fun. Come down, have some drinks, have some laughs. We're going to have fun. January 10th, live episode recording. You're going to want to be there. The last one was a smash hit. Come by, jerk off, show us your tits, give us a kiss on the lips. Happy Christmas, happy Hanukkah, Merry New Year, all that shit. We love you. Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe Liss. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. Yeah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yippee, skippy, shippy, nippy. Yippee, kai, yay, yay. And uh, mecca, lecca, hi, mecca, hiney, ho. Is that coming in my cans only? No, I heard it. I'm good now, though. Are we all right? Is that in there? We're good. They didn't hear that? John unplugged the whole building. It went. <laughs> yeah. Did they hear it? All right. He's we're saying, good. no, they didn't hear it. Well, if you did and Shelby's lying, he's fired and we're sorry. George is saying cut it. <laughs> Woo, Boy. Good to be here. What a beautiful day in Manhattan. It is a beautiful day, but I feel like we got to start being evergreen because these people are getting upset. Well, we're green, baby. I know, but we're talking about, you know, uh-huh. Halloween and it's June. Sure, but we're, we're back. We're smoking weed and we're recycling. We're green. What if I was smoking weed by the time this came out? That's the problem with, with putting me in the box or whatever. Ah, uh-huh, the can. The can. The Why, box. Not? Why not a box? Ah, the air gets in. The can's tighter. But what about a black box? Ah, well. They're a little sassy, but, uh... <laughs> okay, all right. All oh, right. boy. Yeah, the cops don't like them. Take it easy. I don't think they mind them. It's the black men they have the issue with. Oh, I've, I've, have you fucked a couple black boxes? I had sex with one uh, African-American woman. She was literally African. She was oh. uh, from Zaire or Zimbabwe or Africa. Really? One of those countries. What's the one with the... Nasabenya. Uh... Oh. She was... Uh, I forget which country. If I looked at a map, maybe Rwanda? Uh, I think it was Nigeria. No, you'd remember that one. It might have been Nigeria. Um, help me, Rwanda. Help, help, help me, Rwanda. Rwanda. Help Rwanda. That's, That's a pretty funny good. spoof. I like it. It's a Parody. Maybe we should be parody guys. <laughs> Help me, Rwanda. Get all the AIDS out of my ass. <laughs> Do, Do they have AIDS? AIDS in the ass? I think they have AIDS, right? Or am I being insensitive? I think they all have AIDS in Africa. <laughs> Our producers are saying, yeah. <laughs> they don't all have AIDS, but there's certain It's areas. an epidemic. I think the uh, West Africa is much worse. They got the Zika and the, the oh, plague. The plague? I think. I don't know. The plague's been wiped out, I thought. No, it wiped us out. Uh, Goose for the gander. What's up with the polio? Polio is good. Oh, that's, that's good a, for you. That's a great. It flushes Seinfeld. you out. But that's a great. Uh, the uh, the auction when they did the the date auction. Mm. And he goes. They got to raise enough money to cure polio. I believe they've had a cure for polio for quite some time. Uh, yeah. And the grandma goes polio. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 
TV. <laughs> you guys ever watch that show? It's really something. Good show. We quote it quite a bit. I really have a fear that people are going to that listen to our show. I've never heard that show. They're going to listen and be like, wait a minute. You're stealing everything. <laughs> These guys sound a lot like those guys. Yeah, well, we've improved it with a couple ethnic slurs. Yeah, we're considerably more racist than them. Yeah, and uh, homophobic and uh, women-hating as well. Yeah, we hate you women. Yeah, get on your knees, bitch. <laughs> Well, what's up with the barefoot in the kitchen? You always say that. I want you barefoot. It's like, well, I get the kitchen, but why the bare feet? I think that means, like, no possessions. Like, uh, you're barefoot. Like like John Lennon? Like, you can't even leave the house. You got no shoes or something. Oh. I got all the stuff and oh. you got nothing, I think. That seems odd. I wanted to have a, a hairbrush or something. No, I, th- I think that... Um, I, I don't know. I think it was like old school. Yeah, all right. I don't know. I just don't want the feet around. I like feet. Uh, it depends if it's a good foot. We've talked about this It's got to be before. a good foot. A club you don't want. There's some foots. Foots? Feet. Feet. Right. Goose. It's like, geese. It's like deer. Do. The, <laughs> a female deer. Aha. Uh-huh. Sometimes I think this show should be eight minutes long. Just the first eight minutes and that's it. There's your don't, program. Don't jinx it. Well, we haven't gotten to eight yet, so uh, I'll keep Jesus, it moving. Well, Freddy. Four. I feel like we're going to have to do a whole, uh, what do you call that thing? We uh, uh, Disclaimer. Enema. Oh, yeah. <laughs> enema. We're talking about feet. You're saying enema. Oh, right. We've got to do a disclaimer. We're not racist. We're not gay. We're not anything. No. We, they all know. We're nothing. If we were racist, we wouldn't make the jokes because we'd be too scared of getting in trouble. Well, nowadays, though, with this, uh, what's the guy's name again? Pence. That guy, and then there's the other guy above him, the tweet guy. Palin. No. Tweet guy. Alec Baldwin. Ah, yes. Trump a hump. Ah. Now those people are coming out of the woodwork. The real people, they're out and about. They're like, we won. We're going to be out. Oh, they're out. I saw a guy walk around Penn Station the other day with a America, Make America Great hat. Penn Station. There you go. Well, it's not so much the people that are Trump supporters. It's these crazy alt-right they're calling What them. is this alt? Alt-right is, uh, I mean, I think, first of all, a quarter of them are listening to our program pretty religiously, so thank well, you to those alt writers. Keep on listening, alty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like those alts. Yeah, I love you. Control alt delete. But I think it's these white supremacist things. I don't know. I guess there's a whole bunch of white supremacists out there. I don't know. Really? Yeah, it's. I never bump into them, but uh, they're out there and they're loving every minute of it. So if you're a white supreme, you just think whitey is better. I guess so. I think, All right. Well, that's not so bad. What, whatever happened to confidence? Well, I think that there's some self esteem. Uh, they want to. Push it on the uh, society. They want to ah. push back. There's like a bunch of people out there like, we're, we're getting it back in white America, yada, yada. I see. It's this last kind of death rattle for whitey. Like, I, I like white people. I'm a white guy. And Big fan. I never uh, did anything, uh, whatever, yada, yada. I don't have any slaves. or no. reason. But um, I think that it's clear that uh, white people are becoming less and less of the population. And right. I think some of these white folks are going, ah! There's too many. There are too many on TV. Ah, and we want right, to right. fight back and and, yeah. and take it as ours. But, uh, you know, it's the Native Americans' land. And uh, these people that you're railing off against, they're pretty nice people. Yeah, and it's kind of fun to think about, uh, like, back in the old days, like, they used to be racist towards or prejudiced towards Italians and Irish. Irish. And then now they're probably like, we love you. What were yeah. we thinking? Then, you know, a black guy showed up and they're like, oh, fuck. Half of them are probably Irish and Italian. Yeah, I'm sure... Probably most. But what else, uh, what else is there? German? I try to see from people's sides, and they're, they're scared. They think it's going to be different, and they're going to be the minority, and right. uh, people are going to run wild, and Mexican, yada, yada. And, uh, you know, they're, some of them are scared. Yeah, they're well. poorly educated. Right. A lot of them are. Yeah, it's funny how much racist white people are actually like minorities. They have no idea. Oh, interesting. But my whole thing is... I'm all for people coming by. I don't care about other races. Get in here. Let's all canoodle and and uh, hug. And fuck. And fuck. Yeah, that let's African mix it up. dame was really something. Right. But here's my quarrel. All right. Is uh, if somebody else gets on top or there's more of them, not get on top, that sounds bad, but if there's more of a group and they start going, aha, now we're more, fuck you. Well, that is what it's happening. Well, that's bad. Socially. Oh, I agree. I mean, that's unfair that you're, you're, the people doing that are just as bad as the white supreme. Yes, both sides are doing a lot of judging. Yes. I hear all this, uh, white people caused this, and white people are the reason Trump, yada, yada, and white people that. Right. And I'm like, what are you talking about? There's millions of people. First of all, millions of white people voted for Hillary. And yeah. Millions of white people are doing charity work. Right. And, uh, Helping all, your groups. Yeah, all kinds of uh, great things. Right. Great it's, art. 
I remember created. a friend of mine, he's a black guy, we were fighting about the Oscars when there was that Oscars too white thing. Yes, Oscars so white. So white, thank you. And I was like, uh, so what, what do you want? You want just black people to win all the awards? And he was like, yes, thank you. That's all I want. I'm like, well, wait, that's exactly what's going on now, and you're pissed about that, so what? You just want it in your favor? That's not how it works. It's kooky talk. You see what I'm saying? Of course. All right. I'm right here with you. Yes, he is. It's all uh, a bit soupy, but I just saw this trailer for Fences. That's going to be a big Oscar Fences. one. Fences. Yeah, this is Denzel. It's like a play. Is this Trump? Did that's he write a, it? That's now a movie, and uh, it's Denzel's, you know, lives. It's like a play that's a movie, and it's all like, you don't know me! And like, that's oh. going to It's going to be all kinds of Oscar. And then Will Smith is still trying to get his Oscar, God love him. Uh-huh. By the way, Will Smith, I think, is so funny. And then he's in a drama. He's terrible. Not great. Not good. You can really see him acting with the eyebrows. Yeah, and they say he's gay. No, get that's out of here. That's the rumor. Get up and get out of Shelby here. Shelby Heard. He's heard he's gay. And what? his wife's a dyke, I heard. He is a prince. That's kind of gay. A fresh prince. <laughs> oh, freshly gay, I would say. Uh-huh. A gel gay Bel Air shit. But anyways, and there's plenty of racism on the other side. You know, there's racism everywhere. But yeah. I think there's less racism than it sounds like. I think most oh, white yeah. people are not racist. I think oh, most yeah. black people are not racist. Right. And uh, I don't know. I think I think there's a lot of nice, kind, thoughtful people out there. And it gets all topsy turvy in the media and the social media and yes. the business. It's all kooky. The news should be is at fault quite a bit. But uh, I'm out here and uh, I'm not bumping into any of these racists. No. Well, on the train you are. What do you mean? Hey, white bitch, what you looking at? Yeah, I mean, That's, that was... I'd call that racism. That was racial, All but right. I don't want to be quick... To, I don't know what the fuck it was, but I have seen a couple people post like, hey, white people, racism is not acceptable because Trump got elected. But personally, my I've seen... Sarah and I were at the train the other day on uh, 34th Street, and there was a black guy yelling, fuck fucking crack a bitch yeah crack ass bitch. And she was, all the time he was screaming and then i had my incident so i've only seen racial incidents of uh people yelling about whitey well but I, on the I, news and social media yeah, these people yeah. are always you search and the uh, n-word on twitter go. my god it's insane it's uh uh what's the word overwhelming but uh even that it's like two hundred thousand people being like ah these n-words gotta go we should burn them but, which is terrible, but that's still there's 350 million people in the country. That's a lot that's of people. a small percentage. Yeah, I know. None of it's acceptable, but yeah, you can't uh, you can't put the whole white blanket on all of us. Hey, white people, uh, well, what about the good ones, you know? Yeah. And what about the fucked up Latinos and Filipinos and uh, Polynesians? And then there's this thing about, oh, I've never seen anyone, every, every white person secretly, every white person secretly uses the N-word. No one in my family... Has ever no. used the N-word ever. My mother's never thought about saying the N-word at any point ever no. in her life. I mean, she would never. No. If I used that word, my mom would hit me with a slipper. Yeah. I mean, we've said it on the show multiple times. Have but, we? Uh, oh. Uh, well, we'll but we're quoting. This. We're quoting. We are quoting. Quoting a rap lyric. Or what things have been said to us. Or a sketch or uh, whatever. Boobly boops. All boobly right. Boobies. Well. Well, we're in some hot water here. Yeah, it feels good. Hot tub. Soapy. Yeah, hot water is a bad uh, term for being. We like hot water. They don't specify how hot it yes, is. Yes, they should. Because some hot water, like Rain Man, you get all burned and you got to send them off. True, but I mean, <laughs> if the heat's not working in your shower, you're pissed. <laughs> That's true. I I take a steam every day. It's all hot water. Hot water. Yes. And it's in a hot tub and a sauna, the whole thing. Hot water burn, baby. Hot water burn, baby. <laughs> Remember Rain Man? Oh, oh, oh. That oh, kooky return. I thought you were doing your act. <laughs> 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 All right, but yeah, I haven't done that joke in years. We got that. Uh, we got that out of the way. We've been we've been starting out political. Well, it's hard not to be political when you have a guy tweeting about Saturday Night Live as your commander in chief. Yeah, yeah, your Twitter in chief. I don't think he's gonna make it the whole time. I hope not. I hope he has a big heart attack and dies, and then Pence gives him mouth to mouth, and he gets AIDS, and they both die, and then oh, uh, that'd be nice. They yeah. both turn orange and die. I don't know, but I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't wish death upon no, the president. What are we doing? Who am I? We're just as bad as the Jews. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, we better get into a story here because yeah. the people are going to get upset and uh, we might get sued. Speaking of, uh, you know who? Ah, uh-huh. you're right. <laughs> you know, Jew. I watched that uh, movie Mascots. Have you seen it? Yeah, I watched it. What'd you think? It was okay. A little, little blah. It was a little blah, and it was a little... First of all, I don't... There's that one guy I don't like. 
That guy, he was in the office. He's tall and gangling. He gets oh, to be in things now. He's got the pretty eyes. Yeah, I don't find him to be particularly great. I shouldn't just throw this out there because I might work with him someday. You could work business. with him. But uh, I should say I don't like him. Yeah. I, I say I don't enjoy him. All right. I don't think he's great. And there was a lot of, like, but I thought, uh, what's his toes? Uh, Fred Willard, my favorite. Always on fire. And he gets to work with our buddy Brad Williams. Yes, I love Brad. I said that in reverse. Yeah. I said Fred Willard got to work with Brad Williams. It's <laughs> vice the other versa. way around. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Brad was great. And Freddie, on fire, he's like, uh, he kept watching Brad Williams. He's a little person. And he was saying, like, so they make more of you? Or how'd this right. happen? Oh, I was just <laughs> asking him all these questions. It was hilarious. Yeah, he's great. We met him. He's our buddy, too. Yeah. Well, yeah, you got a picture with it. I was so jealous. Like, I had never told you. In Nebraska, we did the Great American Comedy Fest. Well, it's because you were polishing your trophy at the time I was getting the picture. It was a good win for you. Oh. That's a trade-off. All right, I'll take the You're trophy. out there getting blown by Nebraskan housewives. Yeah. With your trophy and your medal and your big check. Yeah. I don't know if I ever got that, by the way. <laughs> God no. damn it. They gave you a check just then. They gave you a jumbo check, didn't they? No, no jumbo. Oh. I always wanted a jumbo check. I'd love a jumbo check. I want to do the gag of folding it and putting it in my wallet. <laughs> uh, that's, a, <laughs> that's a good gag. You have to, like, break it in Yeah, half. no one's done it yet. you got to hold it up and get leverage and kick the middle of it. Yeah, and yeah exactly. It and my wallet's tiny. It would have to be torn up to shreds. <laughs> my wallet's gone. I couldn't get it out. My wallet's gone. Woo-wee. How about this? I've been flying all over creation, as yeah. my dad would say. And um, I've been popping these Dramamine. You ever do it? Jeez. <laughs> oh, Dramamine's, what's that now? That's, That's the motion sick. Oh, you got motion sick? No, but I was like, oh, I got a long flight, six-hour flight ahead of me. What, what am I going to do? And this guy, Club Soda Kenny... Of Andrew Dice Clay fame. Not to be confused with Clubfoot Kelly, my yes. ex-girlfriend. Yes. And uh, I was like, ah, I don't want to do this flight. And he goes, why don't you take a sleeping pill? I was like, I don't have any. He goes, when you're at the airport, hit that Hudson News. Uh, like a Dramamine. I was like, all right, I'll try it. I popped two. I slept for like four days. Dramamine puts you to sleep? Whoa, are you out? Really? I got a beer and I popped two Dramamine within 40 minutes. I was drooling on my own asshole. I was sleeping. I was snoring. People were nudging me. I woke up. We had landed. I got in the Uber, fell asleep in the Uber, got home, fell asleep in the, at home. Oh, that's dangerous. It was not good. No. I was grog. I was like trying to will myself up, like, get up, you pussy. Get up. And I couldn't do it. Yeah, drugs. You're battling drugs. But I take sleeping pills. I take melatonin all the time, and I'm fine. But these were just weight. I felt like I weighed a million pounds. I felt like Ralphie May. Well, between you, me, and the lamppost, and the desk, and the pole in spring, I think melatonin's nonsense. It's like herbal bullshit, right? Well, it works. Or does it? Oh, yeah, I'm out. I think it's placebo. Well, either way, I'm bowing. Yeah, placebo Jackson. Uh huh. I don't know. Maybe it works. I don't know. I think it's just a lot of those herbs and spices that are just nonsense. I mean, if it is a placebo bridges, it's uh, doing the job. Well, I wonder if Viagra is this placebo. Might be a placebo Derek. Ah. Uh-huh. I think I'm out of bows, by the way. Hmm. Bo uh, Jackson, oh, Bridges, uh, Derek. I'm, I'm going to take a placebo Burnham. Oh, and, Bo uh, Burnham. Is that his name? Bo Burnham. Wow. I, I never see that guy or hear that guy. His new special's great. I've heard that. He's, never, he's uh, a kook. He's never around, though. He's a, he's, from, he's a Massachusetts guy. Oh, man, another one. And a youngster. Well, we could do the whole list of mass cam. A lot of, lot, of, lot, of guy, lot of mass cum. Yeah. I shot some of that last night. In, oh, boy. Into a, uh, I'd like to come into a um, strainer. Those are the real kids that get through that. How about the people that call it a colander? What do you think of those people? Mm, I don't like it. Too, too close to colonic. That's a bad person. So bad I was like, egg. hand me the colander. Ugh, it's a tight shoe. Yeah. That's <laughs> Speaking a... of which, I got some new kicks. Tight shoes. They look similar to the old kicks. I like that style. I, I, I find something I like, I stick. Meet the new kick, same as the old kick. There it is. But uh, a lot of people are giving me shit because New Balance is uh, sponsored by neo-Nazis or whatever. Yeah, neo-Nazis in Bray. But it's a, it's a good company. It's a Boston. It's uh, a good shoe. It's the best feeling shoe I've ever had. Massachusetts company, and they're good, good shoes. I, I, have, I have a response to whenever somebody gets me. I go, me. well, you own white sheets. Ah, uh-huh, that's my big move. 
That's okay. That's not bad. Not bad. I mean, it's it's uh, it's, uh, it's off the fly, you know. I'm a New Balance guy, and right now I'm wearing Saucony because they were out of the New Balance. See, I could never wear that shoe. It was way too zany. Zany? It's too busy. Well, it's blue. That's a lot of blue. It looks like a toothpaste. I suppose. All the waves and the wiggles and the bottom is green and white and blue and black. Is it green? Yeah, I suppose. But who sees the bottom of a shoe? Well, the prostitutes, I guess. I'd like to see the bottom of a shoe right up my asshole. <whistles> All right. So, yeah, I took the dram and, uh, oh, man, how about this? I was hanging at the cellar the other night. What a hang. It was me, Wolf, Soder, Louie shows up. Uh-huh. So we lost Soder. He went right to Louie. And then uh, Chris Rock shows up. Wow. So I got Rock and Louie bantering, and then they're making fun of Trevor Noah to uh-huh. Wolf. And it was so funny. It was great. And Rock stole my line. What was your line? Well, we had a... I don't know if he even knows I exist or hears me, but we were talking. And we were talking about abortions. And Rock's like, oh, man. When I was in Brooklyn, this guy I know, and he said some name, like Easy Eddie or something, and he's like, he got seven abortions in like a year or like six months. I was like, Jesus, this guy probably had a punch card. And you know, nobody laughed. I was like, all right, whatever. And then like five minutes later, they're talking about abortions again, and, he goes, and Rock goes, that guy probably had a punch card. What? And it killed. And really? I was like, what the fuck? I said that. You got to be I look kidding. At, I look at Wolf, and I go, what? And she goes, eh, drop it. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Wow. I know. That is disappointing. Isn't that kooky? All we have is our lines. And then you take mine, and you didn't laugh when I said it. Boy, oh boy, this is troubling. It's troubling. Now I want to know who wrote the Black People vs. N-Words. Ah, uh-huh. probably who? by Bob Newhart. <laughs> I can see that. He always seemed a little off. Yeah, he didn't like them. Wow. I know. Stole a line. I, I, uh, I was on a roll, too. I gave a uh, wolf at a bit. I gave her a line. She liked it, and... Then I had the Chipotle line, or the punchline thing stolen from me. Ah, damn it. Jesus. Punch card. Yeah. So then, uh, then I, I bolt out of there and I go, shit. So Rock's like, uh, I'm like, I'm not going on, am I? He's like, I'm going to do a while. I'm like, all right. So I ran over to Whiplash and he goes, oh yeah, Whiplash, which is kind of fun. I'm talking to Rock. Like we're both standing by the door to the bathroom. I'm like, I'm going to go to Whiplash. He's like, oh yeah, Whiplash. Maybe I'll get on then. I was like, let me know. I'll let the guy know and he'll get you on. He was like, all right, all right. Maybe I'll see you over there. And then I get to Whiplash. Louis shows up. Woo! I get off stage. Louis walking in. We both go in that back room. We chatted. Wow. We, we both had a couch, and I, it was a cool moment because Noah Garden Schwartz walked up. Love and, Noah. Great guy. Great hang. Yeah, we love Funny Noah. Funny cat. Check him out. I think he's got a new album out called Blunt. Yes. It's a double entendre. That's the second time we've plugged that album. He should be blowing us, this guy. Yes. Suck this blunt, Noah. Yeah. So, you Jew uh, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, Noah walks in. I go, hey, Noah, Louie. And then Noah does the whole, like, I know who you are. And Louie's like, have we met? It was a nice moment. And I got to look like a cool guy because I'm just sitting here chatting with Louie. And uh, so me and Louie are talking. And I was like, I tell him I just bought a place. And he gave me the whole, like, oh, good for you. That's the thing you got you to gotta buy. Good for you. And he's like, well, you're still young. You're doing great. And I'm like, yeah, my hair's thinning. He's like, hair doesn't matter. And I was like, no, oh, hair matters. And he's <laughs> like, I've been doing fine with no hair. I was like. Well, he didn't get SNL, and I got a big laugh out of him. Oh, that's fun. And uh, But he's convinced. I was like, hair is huge. Hair goes a long way. And he's like, ah, you don't need hair. I've been doing fine without no hair. I'm like, yeah, 38 years in. Larry David. Yeah, well, look at him. He was behind the scenes. He had to make it as a writer to get on TV. But he was in a lot of scenes. Oh, because he wrote himself in. The guy's worth $700 million. Because he got in on the ground floor. But let's just not, let's let be guy bods be guy gone. Aha. Uh-huh. Well, guy get you guy, gone, baby, gone. This, I enjoyed that film. I liked it too. Casey's way better flick. Yeah, but Ben can really direct a film there. Oh, yeah? Have you seen uh, Old Manchester by the Sea? No, I never heard of it. Oh, it's a big flick. Big, big flick. Big flick with uh, Michelle Williams. And, uh, she uh, sucks. What? I don't like her face. What? That's just a fine actress. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Big nostrils. What are you talking? We're not talking about face here. I'm we're just talking saying, about acting. You talk about the guy's face on the mascots. I don't like his face. That's what I'm saying. But I don't like his skill uh, level either. Uh, yeah, I you're allowed just, to not like a face, but I can't not I like a face. I was describing his face so you knew who I was talking about. Uh, it's you hate his, his face. acting I don't like. You don't care for his mug. But now that you bring it up, I don't care for the mug aside right. from that. I but can sense it. We talked acting first. All right. Well, she's a fine actress. Hate the mug. Uh, that's that's fair. Bad pun him. Fucked uh, Heath Ledger, though. That's true. I did. <laughs> He's dead. 
Yeah, I killed him. That's a sad, sad story. You Fucked know what him I mean? to death. We shouldn't make jokes about nah, that. Nah, he's a, a fine actor. Sweet, sweet man. Ten things I hate about you. He had an odd face. Kooky face, kooky head of hair, too. He had that crinkly, nappy-headed hoe. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Boy, he was terrific, though. Good actor. Really went out on a high note. Why so serious? Uh, Woo! That was a good penguin. <laughs> You know, he based it on Tom Waits. Is that right? Yes, it is. All right, I believe it. Wow. I heard that, uh, oh, I don't want to cut you off, that that penguin you got, but uh, I heard that uh, Johnny Depp in the Caribbean, Caribbean or Caribbean? Caribbean. I heard that he he did it off of... Uh, Keith Richards. Yeah, that's the one. Well, that's not a nugget. That's what everyone knows. Keith Richards is in the movie. He is? Yeah, they brought him on the movie to play his dad. What? Yes, that's like a that's like a thing. He said it out. This you gotta give me a nugget. I want a nugget. All right, I'll give you a nugget. You gotta give me Schumer based train wreck on uh, you know Gallipoli, Gandhi. Or all, right, all right, you went Gallipoli. I went Gandhi. Interesting. Shit, I had a good nugget the other day. Hit me with oh, a nugget. Oh, I got a nugget. This is big, baby. There's black people and there's nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second. I was like, the basketball team? All right. Um, the guy who invented the Atari. Uh, now we're talking. I got nothing on this. Also invented Chuck E. Cheese. What? How about that for a nug? Chuck E. Cheese is Japanese? Nugget, Japanese? cheese? Nugget, please. <laughs> Wait, Atari's Japanese, though, right? He's good. I mean, this guy... Chuck E. Cheese is a, is a Japanese business? Apparently, he was, he was trying to say Charlie Chang. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know. I can't do an Asian accent, but you get it. <laughs> it's he, hard. Yeah, he uh, he the same guy. Wow. Uh-huh. I assume he's Japanese, right? Chilbo, Chilbo can we get a Chilbo. Google on that? Hop to it. What, Chubb? What are you doing over there? You're dropping the ball. Are you looking at porno? He's licking his lips. It takes an hour. <laughs> Woo, baby. Yeah, we're cooking. Atari inventor. Is Chuck E. Cheese an invention, by the way, or a discovery? Ah, it's not a discovery. It's up Plymouth Rock. He's a white guy, Nolan Bushnell. Wait, Bushnell? He, how did he, oh, so Atari's just a cool name, I guess. And the Bush women. <laughs> and the indigent. <laughs> what, uh, what's his gender? Or uh, what do you well, call it? we got it? the gender. Ethnicity. Gender. Uh, what do you call it? The place to be. He's a white male. From America, I'm talking? Yeah. Wow. Nationality, yes. The guy that invented Atari is American? What about Nintendo? How he was Asian. That's Japanese. He it's had to be, be a right? Jap. Nintendo. I think that's a word for something. Japanese internment camp or something. Kidoba. Ah, Kidoba. Uh-huh. I can't believe the Atari's American. These people are out here hating on Whitey. We invented the Atari, oh, for God's sake. Whitey's kicking ass. I, <laughs> talking to my friend Chris <laughs> Allen about this, uh, all these black guys were in the back of uh, some comedy club, and they're all like, fucking white people. And he's like, you know, without white people, we wouldn't have this club. And they were like, ah, get out of here, Tom Jones. What do they call him, Tom Jones? Uncle Tom. Tom. Uncle Tom, that's yeah. it. So, he's got our back. All right, well, you read up, Shelby, and but, we'll be over here. But, uh, you know, black people, nothing to sneeze at. Jazz, blues, uh... Uh, Pryor and Cosby. Yeah, I'm trying to, they had some good oh, uh, hip hop. Hip hop. What about the break dance? Is that them? Ah, uh, that might have been uh, the same guys at Atari. Let's not forget uh, a little rock and roll business. Oh, rock and roll! Uh, yeah, you got uh, yes. Chuck Berry and Bo Diddley and uh, oh. James Brown from the waist down and Placebo Diddley. Hey, <laughs> how about that? Look at that. We're back. <clears throat> Placebo Diddley. That sounds like it could be a title. Uh, that's a good title. All right. And a hell of an artist. Boy, Shovel's really doing some work over there. We caught him with his pants down over there, and yeah. now he's really getting to work. Oh, man, oh, man. This guy can suck his own dick. Dick sucking lips. Is that true about you, Shelby? Oh, I knew it! What? That's why the lips came in so full. I bet you got a big, full dick. That's what I think. I've heard he's packing heat. I think we talked about that. Weird face, big dick. Yes! Weird face, big dick. Not saying you have a weird face, but I'm saying you have a big dick, and people with big dicks have weird faces. That's what I'm saying. That's all he's saying. <laughs> but, uh, I got a medium. No, if you got a medium, I'm fucked. <laughs> well, you got an extra small. Ah, but you got a nice face. I'll take it. All right, let's let's get back to the business here. Yeah, I got a couple of things we want to. I want All to get right, to. yeah. So, Rock stole my line. Chat with Louie. Uh, went to Newark. Southwest sucks. I hate Southwest Airlines. Yeah, terrible, terrible. That whole find your own seat nonsense. It's crazy. What are we communists? What are you doing flying Southwest? Because I had to get to. Uh, 
I had to go from Newark to Chicago midway to get uh, on the jet. Ah, uh, she was already in. Schumer was in Chicago. I see. Yeah. All right. What do you got? Oh, I'm a hog in here. No, no hog. I mean, we're doing all kinds of silly things here. Oh. I, we're going to get shut down after this one. I got a feeling. I love it. Shut us down. I dare you. Oh, boy. Don't dare him. My Don't God. dare it. Uh, truth. Truth. Well, I got some... Uh, for me, my whole story, we've been recording quite frequently because we thought you were going to Australia. <laughs> Which is canceled. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Suck my ass. Yeah, Ozzy, Ozzy, Osborne. So we're putting all these things in the can, so we apologize if these aren't, uh, either they're late or whatever, who gives a shit? We'll be back on track before you know it, homos. Yeah. So anyways, I've been going to a lot of hockey. You know me, I just love the ice hockey. I just enjoy it, you know? And uh, so I went to uh, Gary Veter, our old pal Veter, one of our first guests. Oh, uh, yeah. Worst guest ever. What <laughs> a terrific comedian. Great friend. Great hang, great guy, great face. I think there's a worst guest. I think there might be one or two. A couple we didn't air. That's right. A couple of we were like, we can't put this out. That's Give right. Break we had a, some big celebrities on. They were so boring. We couldn't air them. Yeah, that's true. We had Elvis and Tupac. I don't know if they were celebrities, but they were big, all right. Ah, uh, fat. But anyways, uh, so anyways, Gary Veter and I, I call him up. I go, hey, I'm off Wednesday. You off Wednesday? He said, yeah, of course I am. And I said, let's go to a hockey game. We go to the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins New York Islanders Ooh-wee. game out in Barclays Center. Wee. And uh, I say, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend a little money. I get a nice ticket. I like a nice ticket. Yeah. Nice seat. And I say, Vito, you give me what you got. I'm like that guy. Give me what you can Look afford. You. And I'll pick up the rest. Whoa. These are all the things that when the Louis tour ends and I run out of money, I'm going to yeah. go, probably shouldn't have got that all-you-can-eat buffet at the hockey game. Oh, you got that? I got the all-you-can-eat oh. club level. Oh. I got a club seat. You don't even eat much. Not a club foot, but a club seat. Club foot Kelly. And so I go there. And I say, hey, let's get the ticket. I say, you owe me if you ever make it big. Fingers crossed. Oh, he's not. He's very small. Uh, but uh, who knows? Well, maybe his nose is big. True. He's got a pretty regular nose. Well, on a small frame. That's true. Him and Louis Katz are kind of similar looks. Well, that's what we call Hebrew. Oh, boy. Yep. We'll uh, Jew that out in All post. All right. Good idea. We'll cut it like a foreskip. Not bad. All right. Anyway, so uh, we go out to the hockey game, take the train out there. We got the, we got there real early because we were excited, and I think, you know, we wanted to go to the house. So we get there, and uh, we're like the first ones in the arena. It's exciting. We find our seats, great seats, <clears throat> club level. Can I ask the price? <clears throat> All you can eat food. <clears throat> you ask the price. I've got well, I got to do right. I don't want to uh, put you in a, in a bad spot here. People get weird about the money, financial bullshit, but I got to know. You're spending dough. Well, it was $189. All right. He gave me a cool 50 So it was a $139. Uh, that's for two tickets. All you can eat that's food. That's not bad. That's and so Arena, bad. how about this? You'll appreciate this. You get six. It says all you can eat, but it's six trips. But six things equals uh, entree, appetizer, Appetite, dessert. Soda. So can you get free booze? Or? No free booze. All right, all right. Well, that works out for you. Because the food is so expensive, I got $90 worth of food. How do you know? Because it, it rings up. Oh. It says, that's 25 Then it goes, boop, and it says negative 25 Oh, I got gotcha. you. So we each went. So the the price, the ticket price is basically like 20 bucks, Right. Or 10 bucks. 90 buckos. Yeah, the, the, those markups, man, they fuck you. These, these, oh, yeah. These sporting events, these arenas, they just... Fuck you right in the ass. Yeah. They come all over you. They really do like that. Yeah, well, I'd like my own cum shot in my face by a woman with high heels on. Ah, uh, well, that's how they should set it up. <laughs> I'd prefer that. Yes. I'd buy the club seats every night. Yeah, uh, that's $40 worth of cum. All right. So we went there, and uh, we get all the free food, and uh, we're eating it, you know. And the hockey game, it's the Pittsburgh Penguins. They got Sid Crosby. You ever hear this guy? I have heard that name. Sid the Kid, they call him. And uh, best player in the world, he's unbelievable. This really? Is, like, oh, I'll get shit because people hate the fucking pet. People hate success. P- they people really do. They, they're soft and weak. That's what I say about you. It's strange to me. I've never had that hate I don't a have player it. guy. I don't have it. I love Jordan. I love Crosby. LeBron. I love LeBron. Yes. I, to me, I, I'm a fan of the sport, so why would I not enjoy the highest level of being? They're threatened. They're Fucking losers! I guess because they like their team, but like, I mean, if the Penguins are playing the Bruins, I hope Crosby trips over the blue line and breaks his face and dies. But yeah, I, they're all going Crosby sucks, Crosby, oh. and I'm like, well, what are you talking about? They do that with Rousey. They do that with comedians too. When a comedian gets too hot, they cut him down. Yeah, Schumer gets shit. Louis right, gets shit. Right. Like, 
But the Crosby suck. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's he's dominating. He's unbelievable. I know, I know. They know it. They all know it. But anyway, so like half the fans are Pittsburgh because they travel well because they want to go out and see the team. And there's a lot of people from Pittsburgh living in New York City. So it's like a packed crowd. It's like tumultuous because it's Penguins fans and Islanders fans. And there's so many Penguins fans and they're good and the Islanders stink. So they're uh-huh. chanting, let's go Penguins. And these people are ashamed that they're at their own home ice. So they start screaming. And it's all these battles going yeah. on. Yeah. Very exciting. Great game. Islanders are up 3 nothing going into the third. The Penguins score three quick ones and tie it. So all this Penguins, there's a Penguin guy next to us. He starts screaming, best player in the fucking world. Best player in the fucking world, baby. Defending champs. Ah! He's going crazy. All I'm right. like, Jesus Christ, settle down. Uh-huh. And then with 20 seconds left, the Islanders score the game winner. And then this old Long Island, you know, man gets uh-huh. up. He turns to the guy's face. He goes, Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! He's like, greatest player in the world! Suck it! Wow. And then the guy just sat there and took it. He's like, hey, what can you do? But if I was that guy, I'd be like... He's All still right. the best player. Yeah, he's still the best player. We're still the defending champs, and you're the worst team in the league. So fuck you. <laughs> you won one game. But it was fun because it got really animosity Yeah. It just show, goes to show you these people, the sports, they, they put it inside them. They're like, that's me winning. Yeah, it comes out because I think the more you, you, you work a job, maybe yes. you don't like, you're there a lot, and that's you your hate break. your wife, yeah. And you want it to just bah! Right. And so it was very exciting. And then you feel like an underdog because Crosby was like known since he was a kid, and it was like this big thing, and they won. And they, people were like, fuck this guy. They, yeah. they resent him. Uh-huh. But really, like, you should enjoy him. Because yeah. it's, you know, if you like hockey, he's, he's the best player. I know. And then when they go away, there's all these monuments and murals and trophies. Or like, and the people are like, look at that. Remember him? Yeah. Well, enjoy him while he's here, you kooks. Yeah, you tell your kids. You went, I went and saw Crosby live. Yeah, he's lunch. By the way, there's this new kid, Connor McDavid, 19. He's unbelievable. <laughs> He's like the new Gretzky, and wow. I'm watching, and it's so weird, Vita and I were talking, we're like in love with this guy, it's so weird, it's a 19-year-old boy, we're both like, I've seen him, I love him, I watch every game, <laughs> when he comes to town, we gotta get here early, we get yeah. new jerseys, and this is like a teenager, it's like a right. teenage boy, he's That's got pimples. That's wild, yeah. But how about this, Sec between the second and third period, we go to get our snacks, free food, we're like stocking up, because it's free, so we got burgers sure. stacked on top of hot dogs. Of course. And I hear, uh, hey, Joe List, I look over. Islanders guy in a jersey. I go, hey, Joe List. I go, oh, hi. I think it's like a comic. I'm like, hey, sorry. He's a like, huge fan of the pod. No! Pod fan at the hockey game. Ding, ding, ding. And I felt bad. I had my hands full, so I got him a head nod, and the game was starting. So I was like, ah, I should have gone over and chatted with him yeah. and sucked his dick. And That's amazing. You look like Wimpy with all those burgers. I had a whole stack of burgers, and uh, I get nervous because I just go, hi, bye, I and I keep moving. I never know what to I want to give him my wallet and blow him, but I'm like, wait, you're my fan. You should be blowing me. I know. I feel bad. I wanted to uh, let yeah. him shoot my own cum in my eye. But you always picture them going home to their fat wife like, oh, I saw Joe List. What a fucking... Kooky cunt, lang- gangly faggot. You know, like, no, no, I hit a burger. Yeah, I was nervous. I He's nervous. nervous. We're and nervous. The game had already started, so who knows? But uh, yeah, quite a thrill, quite a game. And uh, oh, I, I want another thing. But uh, that's great. You had a little Vita on your lap and the whole and food. That's great. What a great night. That's what's nice about Vita. You only buy one ticket. Uh-huh. And, and then, real quick, I'll just get this out of the way. I went to another hockey game later in the week, Saturday. I went and saw the Boston College Eagles versus uh-huh. the North Dakota, formerly Fighting Sioux. The Sioux? Yes, like, like S-I-O-U-X. Oh. But they're now the Hawks, because uh-huh. you can't be an Indian name. Native American. Right, right. So ooh, they change it, ooh, 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 ooh. but they still all chant Sioux. Huh. So it's very odd. Now it's about a woman. Right. they got to change it to a uh, Sarandon. Mm-hmm. Susan Sarandon. Thank you. I see. Sue. No one calls her a Sue. Ah, I tried to. Couldn't think of a famous Sue. I got a boy named Sue. Sue. Costello? She's not really famous. That's not famous. <laughs> or, or talented. <laughs> Sue. Uh, that was Mark. Sue. Uh, Soupy Sales. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, it's not there yet. Sue. Me. Sue. Uh, boy, this is a tough one. Super Oh, sex. Susanna. Yeah, no, that's even more letters. Soup and spaghetti. Soup and salad. Soup and suds, remember that? Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> we tried to write a pilot, folks. That was the old days. We ended up getting drunk every, every I'd session. I'd always say, let's go to the bar. Yeah. Boy, who's a famous Sue? It's got to be a famous Sue out there, Shelboo. Oh, he's got something. 
Sue Ramirez. No. Sue Ramirez, no. please. Get Who's out of that? here. Sue Perkins. No, no. <laughs> I've heard of that. I've heard of Sam Perkins. There's, there's a WNBA player named no. Sue Bird. Well, we're not going to know Sue that. Sue Bird? That's a great name, though. Sue Bird. <laughs> she related to Larry or no? Uh, All how, right. about, how about Sarandon? Sue, is there a famous, I can't even think of a famous Susan other than Sarandon and B. Well, Anthony. What's the, uh, sh- the chick from Castaway and uh, As Good As It Gets? That's Helen Hunt. <laughs> she looks like a Sue. She's very sexy, I think. Oh, huge cans. Is that right? Yeah, she's got a real Sue Bird face, too. You see her in that, she's in a handicap movie. She's fucking a handicap guy, and you see her what? tits a bunch. What? Yeah, he's like a paraplegic, fucked up nerd and oh she my fucks God, him yeah that's my fantasy it's pretty hot dude i've jerked off to it i'm not kidding <laughs> pull that up if you can and put it on the big screen <laughs> yeah, pull up a little helen hunt fucks cripple guy yeah what? it was a movie she takes care of him and she's like let's make sure your dick works and she sticks his tits in his eyes what yeah oh my god i could watch that all day just google helen hunt naked in a movie it'll pop up but yeah. she's like older. She's all like baggy. I'm in the know? bag. I like it too. It's crinkly with big tits. Uh, crinkle and tit. <laughs> Sounds like a potato chip company. <laughs> Give me a bag of crinkle and tits and a Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> or a morning team. <laughs> crinkle and tits in the morning. Chris Tinkle. <laughs> Sarah, what's the movie? Sarah Thomas just walked in. Yeah, she did. Sarah, what's the movie with Helen Hunt where she fucks the retard guy? Oh, damn it. We're going to pull it up on the main he's in screen. A, he's in a bed all strapped down, and she takes his tits out. That's not the uh, fucking... As good as it gets... What women uh, want? Hawking's? <laughs> What's that guy's name? Stephen Hawking. It's it Stephen Hawking-esque. And the actor's good. He's a good actor. It's a guy from... Uh, he's in the movie where Denzel's the gangster, uh. and Russell Crowe goes and gets him. Oh, American Gangster. Yes, he's like the... Eric the, Bana? No, no. He's a, no one knows his name, but he's terrific. He's like a character actor. Ah. I think it's called The Sessions. The Sessions! Oh, I've heard of that! Yes! Wait a minute, isn't he our, like our vice president? Jeff Sessions. Sessions. Jeff Sessions. No, he's a governor who's now, I don't know, AP or DA or CK. Luckily, Shelby's curious, too, because he's really putting some elbow grease into this uh, <laughs> cripple porno. <laughs> You're going to shit. I mean, I feel like we're all going to beat off and get I, I hard. can't wait. I'm going to... There's a hockey game. Look at that. Oh, How the fuck did that happen? There's Veter. That's crazy. But all anyway, right. Well, we got to get back to the speaking show. Speaking of handicapped people in another hockey game, so Jason and I, Jason Canner and I, we go to the uh, BC North Dakota College hockey game. Saturday night, I uh, had no spots. And so uh, we go to the game. I get, like, center ice seat. But this is college. You can get, like, 40 bucks. You get a hell of a seat. Yeah. And then behind us, this guy, there's no PC way to put this. He's a, he's a little fucked up. He's a little... He's a, got a screw loose? A, I don't know if he's got a screw loose or if he's kind of... He's got a defect. He's off. He's off. He's wearing a Team USA jersey, and he's got some kind of... He's ah, got a... Special Olympics. He's a special guy. Got it. He's a special little guy. So he comes up. He's got a pizza. He's got... Both arms, he's carrying it like a baby. Oh, not a bad. How do you how do you describe this? What I'm doing? Oh uh, yeah, I right, see so you're carrying a big bag of flour. <laughs> he's got his elbows to his ribs and it's his a arms big, up. A dog food bag. Like if you're carrying a dead body. Yeah. Or over the threshold. Oh, that's what. She, hopefully, she's alive. Yeah, but he's doing that with a pizza box and like popcorn and like okay. soda. He looks like. A handicapped kid whose parents just passed away, and he was like, well, whatever, I'm just going to go to the hockey game. I see. Yeah, he throws on a a, a (laughs) scuba goggle and some flippers and a weird outfit. Yeah, so he's off, and uh, he's carrying all this business stacked up, and then he sits down, and there's all these college girls, like these BC girls, and they're like 17 or whatever, 19 years old. Yeah, they are. And they look, uh, they're very cute, but like underdeveloped look. Uh, Ah, that's no fun. It's their first weekend in college, they're going to go to the hockey game. Right. And he sits down behind them, and as he sits, he plops. Uh Uh-oh. Because he's, you know, half retarded. Yeah. So he sits down and just goes, booge, and a 64, I didn't even tell you this story, like a 64-ounce Coke just goes, Ba-boom! On the ladies? Like she coached a team that won the Super Bowl. Oh. It just went ice everywhere, Coke. And she's like, ah! <laughs> and she's sitting in our row, so he's behind and just dumps the Coke. And then, like, right as it dumps, he's like, Duh! and then he drops his full popcorn. Oh. So it's like she got tarred and tarred feathered. And feathered. She got pepsi and popcorn. She got popped and popped. So she gets crushed, and the popcorn's sticking to her hair, and it's oh. in her hood and shit. What'd the retard do? He started freaking out! <laughs> He lost it. He started spasming like this. Like he looked like he was having a seizure. Like he was like, oh. I feel terrible. I mean, I, we're gonna get shut down for this. 
Yeah, you're doing the Trump impression of the retard. There. Well, I'm not running for president. That's true. Um, but yeah, he starts going like, Gah! but I mean, I'm poking fun, but this is what he looks like. Yeah. I mean, this is what he's doing. And everyone thought like they weren't sure if he was like that they should beat him up. They were like, is this some North right. Dakota fan giving us the business? Yeah. And so she was just standing. You know, you're just shocked. She's like, I don't even know where to start. Yes. Like, we had napkins. Like, here's one pizza napkin. Yeah, She's right. She's like, got 60 ounces of soda on her. She needs a Silkwood shower. <laughs> but, uh, so she ended up leaving. And uh, then security came and got him. And they're like, you can't kick him out. He's fucking... He's half out of it. It's his, He's Rain Man. It's his special day. He's out to lunch. So he came back. So he went into the tunnel. And I think they beat him or something. <laughs> They flogged him. <laughs> he came back and uh, he sat there quietly. He had, you know, Velcro sneakers on. It was a sure, whole thing. Sure, sure. He was a young guy, too. He was like 18 or 19. Oh, totally man. Totally by himself. Oh. Team USA jersey, white Velcros. Oh, it's poor Tard. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. And so he ended up sitting there and watching the game, and I felt bad because he felt bad. Like, you could see yeah. he was, like, panicking. Like, he's oh, like, oh, my God, I ruined poor guy. the world. And he was like, like you could see. But then I was thinking, I'm like, what if this guy was just, like, a great Tom Hardy actor? Ooh. And was like, I'm going by myself. No one else. We're not filming this. I'm yes. just going to dump a Coke on a broad. Tom Retardy. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, that was it was something else. Yeah, that is a, quite a vision. And then we saw him later, like leaving the game. He was walking around like all lost and uh, gooky. I mean, he was, uh, you know. Did you help him or just throw him down a, t- <laughs> a well? No, we just kind of went, hey, look at what am I going to do? Yeah, I guess what are you going to do with a retarded weirdo? Bless you, don't want to get coked on you. <laughs> Some of these guys, if you go over and go, hey, can I help you? You look like you're pandering right, or you're, you're right, talking right. down. Right. Then or, they go, I don't need your help. <laughs> I'm just like you! And you're like, oh, fuck, here we go. We're going to get shut down. Shut it down, retard. Even Shelby. <laughs> Shelby's pissed. Even Shelby's looking. Uh, he's shaking his head. Well, speaking of retardos, how about that porn, huh? It's not a porn. Oh, it's it's an porn. art project. Oh, it's it's an a art, film. It's an art porn. It's a, That's one of my the all-time best George lines. When he gets caught renting Rochelle, Rochelle. And oh, she goes, yeah. That's a bit sexual. He goes... Well, it's a it's a movie. It's a, it's a film. Yeah, is what it is. Yeah, right, right. He says it's a film. <laughs> Are we pulling it up here? The sessions, YouTube. Oh, you have it. All right. Well, let's see what else we can fill in while we wait for this. Uh, I'll tell you what you can handy fill corn. in. Big retard dick. There we go. They, I bet a retard's got a honker. <laughs> Shelby. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course, well, they can lift a car with their dick. I've heard. I don't know. Uh, oh, there it is. Look at what? that's it. What? Oh, it disappeared. Had it. Had it. Here it comes. Damn, it's loading. What a tease. Oh, he's loading. <laughs> yeah. Shooting right on those H squared tits. Ah, oh, damn it. What? It was up. It was working. Now we got a pinwheel. I hate the pin. No, we hate the pinwheel. <laughs> all right. Well, I've been all over God's green earth. I went to three Canadian cities. Let me guess them. Hit me. Van- I'll, give, I'll give you ten guesses to get all three. Vancouver. You got one. Calgary. You got one. Edmonton. Shit, you got them all three in the first go. Well, the three big ones are all in the same area. Damn. I'm not, well, it's all hockey. Ah. The Canucks, the Flames, and the Oilers. The Flames, that's a tough one. Well, they started off as the Atlanta Flames. Ah, okay. Well, good. They got rid of those homos. <laughs> Still doesn't quite explain it, by the way. Well, it's hot there. Hot Atlanta. Oh, yeah. But it's not flaming hot. No. You'd think the Flames would be San Fran or... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or Fire Island. Chelsea. Yeah. Oh, fatty network. All right, so um, we go to Calgary, big oil town. Yes. And uh, it's just clean and safe and white and boring there. Yeah, it's for the stampede is their big thing. Uh, that's right. The, the stampede. I just went up and I went, hey, how about that stampede? They went, ah! And I went, how about that health care? They went, ah! It was like the easiest crowd ever. And uh, as an outsider, it's so much easier to get laughs because you can just be like, this is weird, huh? And they're like, he doesn't know about it. Ah! Right. You know, that's why black comics kill. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice thing you got there. Yeah, it's a little perk. So, But I feel like Canadian crowds are way smarter. They got all the, the, the tags and the references and the subtleties. Really? Yeah, they were smarter. They're better than us, I think, in a lot of ways. So some that, ways. That, some ways. Some ways they're boring and they have no creativity and uh, a little too nice, if you ask me. Oh, there's some great comics. That's true. You're right. Jim Carrey. I take it back. They're good people. Dan Aykroyd. Come see me in uh, Edmonton next year. Is Aykroyd Canadian? Yeah, he's Canadian. No, right? I think he's in Chicago. I get confused by who's who. Aykroyd Canadian or American? What do you got, Tolly? Canadian. He's Canadian, He's Canadian? Right? 
Yeah, I think he's... Belushi was the Chicago. Oh, shit. I guess I was thinking all Second City. Yeah, well, it's, you know, Michaels is Canadian, of course, and then... Michaels. Lauren. Yeah, he's, he's Toronto. And Aykroyd was Canadian, and then... Uh, what about... Uh, Martin Short was Canadian. Ramis was not... Ramus, I think, is Chicago. Oh, thank God. All right, we got some. We got Bill Murray, Chicago. Yes, of All course. Right. All right, so, uh, yeah, these cities. Then we we, uh, we did Calgary, and there was a hot crowd. We left. We're going to jump back in the jet, go to Edmonton. A half-hour flight. That's where Connor McDavid lives. Uh, there you go. 19. 19. So uh, we jump back on, and we have a hot pilot. Our pilot is a gorgeous woman. Wow. Court stunning, which is so kooky, because you're like, what are you? Wow. That's so, interesting. Uh, we get back on the plane, and she goes, I got bad news, folks. It's uh, foggy as hell in Edmonton. We can't land. And Schumer, like, flips. She's like, what the hell? Oh, my God. So we get out of the plane, and we're like, well, what do we do? We got a hotel in Edmonton waiting for us. And she's like, we're going to the Fairmont. We go to this nice-ass hotel called the Fairmont. Beautiful, giant Christmas tree in the middle of oak pillars. In Vancouver or Edmonton? In Calgary. We a couldn't Calgary. get out of Calgary. Oh, I see. So we go to this... Dinner. We have this amazing dinner, and I, I got a real problem because they have food on the jet, they have catering at the at the venue, and then they we go out to eat. Mm-hmm. So I'm just one fat whore. Yeah. So uh, we go to this great restaurant. They have a thing called uh, they have a delicacy in uh, Calgary called shit. Tim Tim picks Tim picks. Yeah, and they're these balls of, of they're like a, a donut ball with jizz in them. Wow. And they're really good. Tim, Not to be confused with Tam Pax. No, I That's might even different. have the name wrong. Tim Hits, Hit Tim. It's something with Tim, Tim Horton. Tim Hortons. Something with Tim Horton. Oh, he's big. I didn't know he was a hockey player, by the way. What? I said that in Canada. I almost got raped. No kidding. He played hockey. Yeah, you didn't know either? No, I didn't oh, know. All right. Yeah, he's big. He's the Gretzky of Canada. No, Gretzky's Canadian. Well, he's the Gretzky of this area. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those Tim Hortons, right? That's like McDonald's plus... Dwayne Reed plus uh, McDonald's. What the hell's going on with the Sessions video? Sorry, folks. We're trying to get porno or a little distracted. It's not porno. It's a film. Oh, right. It's a movie. So, uh, yeah. So then we we sleep there. We wake up. We hightail it to Edmonton. Great crowd. Just a real good hockey arena. Had a good time. Ate the catering again. I'm a big juicer guy. You hit the juicer? Oh, that, well, they have juicers. Uh, I bought a juicer because oh, I bought the, uh, the Ninja. Uh, that's a little different. But yeah, the juice is nice, but the juice, you get no fiber. Is that right? Yes. What? You're getting the vitamins, but no fiber. Mmm. I don't know if I need fiber. I need a piece of bread. Fiber's big. That's not bread. That's not fiber. Fiber one. Fiber, you take a nice, big, meaty shit. Those mushy dumps I get are from uh, fiber. No, fiber hardens your dump. No, it makes a dump. Michelle Fiber. But Shelby's pissed. What happened, buddy? It won't load. You can't get the film porn. Just hit play. It looks like it's playing. Oh, God. What about YouTube? Oh, I can see the blue line. I won't let it go over. What's the blue line? It won't let it load all the way. That blue line's got to go all the way to the end. Oh, I see. Uh, all right, well, we, maybe I'll watch it on your phone in the bathroom alone. <laughs> so, um... I'm alone. Yeah, I'm a big juicer guy. I didn't know about the fiber, but I think fiber <laughs> makes your shit hard. No, fiber's how you make shit. You eat the fiber, then you drink the water, and the fiber expands. and makes it a big, meaty dump. Uh-huh. That's how you take a dump. Fiber. That's what dump is. No. Yeah, I promise. Oh, I thought fiber made your dumps thick and and uh, yes, and thick, hard, meaty. Uh, well, right. hard. That's like that's your dehydrated or something. Look at all oh. these dicks and pussies everywhere. What the hell? This is exciting. You got a lot of pop ups. Huge cock. How big do you want to be? Not that big. No, no. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Oh yeah. All right. We're looking at Helen Hunt getting yes. naked for a cripple guy. Yep, there he is. All What's right. that actor's name? Look at there they are. Helen wow. Hunt's tits. Look I told that. you. All right, good for her. That's a hell of a body. She's very attractive. He's oh, terrific. Oh, he is good. <laughs> Why'd you pause? What's going on? It's loading. Oh, it's loading. Well, what are we going to watch this old movie? I should get the hand on the thing. Wow. Yeah, you nice, guys got to check this out. Very nice lady. She's moving his crippled ar- ar- arthritis-filled <laughs> hand over her cans. Yes, even though he spilled a Pepsi on her head. That's right. <laughs> Boy, she's got a lot of makeup on, huh? Yeah, it's a little heavy on the makeup. Oh, hey, we're going, what was this, at Rewind? Hotel Rewind? I think she did it multiple times, and this is a, uh, what do you call that? A montage? A montage of uh, her tits. I got to tell you, I thought they were bigger. Yeah, you said huge cans. I don't think she's known for that. I think she's just mad about you. I'm mad too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you gotta go to. Uh, I'm sorry, Shelby. We're putting you to 
to work here, but uh, you gotta ch- check out as good as it gets. Wet T-shirt scene. What? She's got no bra on. She's in a, in the rain. But we're looking at her tits. I know, but they look huge. I'm saying that's why I thought they were huge. Oh, all right, but I mean. Well, we're looking at her actual Yeah, no, tits. I've seen the actuals. But maybe they got smaller with age. Does that happen, Sarah? All right. They get smaller with AIDS. Ah, uh-huh. my <laughs> balls are tiny. A, a, look at that. that. Look at those huge cans. Yeah, they look like the same cans we just saw. They're good cans. Oh, those are the same? The same cans, yeah. I thought they would look bigger in the T-shirt. But good, good stuff. Great cans. <laughs> Shelby's uh, looking up. By the way, this is not what we normally do. <laughs> This is not the normal show, sorry. Uh, this is the show. When's the wedding, by the way? We're lurking on it. All June, right. maybe. All May. Right. I just don't want to miss it. I don't want to book a Magoobies gig or something. Yeah, well, you cancel. What are you going to do? I'll cancel. Yeah, you will. The metal there. <laughs> Hell or high water. Boy, these are great films. I saw BFG. I thought it was terrific. Pets has got Louis C.K. in it. And uh, Hell or high water. I just watched again. Pets sucked. War Dog sucked. Yeah. War Dogs, is, it's one of those movies with 8,000 montage scenes where they go, like Led Zeppelin kicks on, they're like lighting a cigarette and putting sunglasses on. There's like 30 of those. Yeah, you know what I need to see never again in a movie is the uh, slow motion flick the cigarette into gasoline. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. You're like, come on. That's still happening? That and uh, another big thing that people are doing that Tarantino started, now everyone does, is the cigarette drag where you can hear it burning. Oh, like, uh, he did that first? I think. I mean, he does it in, like, all his movies. That's a great shot. But there. everyone's doing it now. Yeah. What about the slow motion intro song? Slow motion intro song. That was a oh, Tarantino. Reservoir Dogs. Kind of thing, too. Oh, you slow it down. This is a big thing in trailers now. They take a big pop song, and they make it, like, a slow version. Like, um, the uh, Cure for Wellness, the trailer is... twenty 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 four. 24... How is it going? Uh, but it's even slower than that. And then there was another one. There was a, several examples mm-hmm. of like these. You slow down a pop song, make it the trailer, and it's like, whoa, right? Like right. it's like, welcome to the jungle. Oh uh, yeah, I have seen that. We've got fun and games, right? And then like someone's <laughs> right. bleeding and shitting out their ass, right? Which is normally where I shit. Sure. All right. Well, what do you got there? Like, let's get up to oh, this yeah. Canada. So so yeah. Then we uh, we we finally get to Edmonton the next day. Great gig. And then we hightail it straight down to Portland town. Portland, Oregon. Yes. Great to be back in the U.S., by the way. I just, I, I don't want to sound like a phone cunt, but if I can't use my phone all the time, I get a little squirrely. Of course. You want that phone freedom. Yeah, I'm having trouble right now. Yeah, exactly. So you're, you're, you're always looking for Wi-Fi. You're like, what's the code? What's the code? You're that guy all the time. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just shows because we got into an SUV and it was like a 20 minute drive from the plane to the venue. And the guy's like, just letting you know I have Wi Fi in the car. But I was like, you have Wi Fi in the car? And we're all just like staring at our phones the whole oh, way. Yeah. It's horrible, but it's, it's how we're wired now. But you're connected, and sometimes it's, some of it's horrible because you're just looking at bullshit. But yeah. sometimes you're like, well, I'm talking to my mother. That's true. That's you know what true. I mean? I'm communicating with you. People right. are like, hey, you're on the phone. But I'm like, well, I'm texting with my friend. We're exchanging yeah. ideas with loved ones. That's a good point. But half the time, you know, you're just... I'm looking at Instagram butts. You're Googling Helen Hunt tits. Right, right, which is just as important as talking to my mother. Yeah. Um, they both have huge tits, but uh, so... Actually, I don't know. My, I saw my mom's cans once. You seen your mom's cans? Never seen her cans, but I mean, I've seen her with like a sweater on. Wow, I'd hope so. <laughs> but you've never seen her in the show? No! I walked out of my mom bathing. Jesus. It was very seductive. Seductive? She was eating grapes. Oh, my God. I know. Like, well, you gotta wash those grapes. I guess you gotta wash two birds, <laughs> two tits. But uh, yeah, she had huge areolas, and she had those those bumps on them. Well, she the, she's the Sicilian. Yeah. So she's gotta have big brown pepperonis. Yeah, wild sausage. Plus, they've been nibbled on several times by me. Yes. Yeah, I was breastfed. Were I, you? I assume. Yeah, type two mouth. I feel like I was. I hope you got your mouth around those big, <laughs> big red, uh, big red nips. Red? Did, why, Irish? <laughs> That's a myth. <laughs> you said Sicilian brown. I figure oh. Irish red. Well, I mean, <laughs> Sicilians got gigantic brown nips. I, yeah. I've never seen an Irish red. So shall we pull up an Irish nipple, would you? Yeah! <laughs> I can't imagine. I think it's going to be a shamrock. I think it's going to be two fists coming at you. <laughs> it might be green. It might be, <laughs> yeah, I guess it should have said green nips. No, red nips is fun. I think they got the red hair, you know, the red skin, the red freck. Red nips is a tribe, I think. <laughs> 
the South Dakota Red Nips. <laughs> They're savages. Woo! I don't want to be caught dead with a red nip. <laughs> that was the British Army, the red nips. <laughs> the red nips are coming. <laughs> exactly. But the red nips can come. Oh, yeah. Anyways, all right. Well, Did we get an Irish nip pick? <laughs> Shelby's very slow over there with this well, stuff. Well, the nip picks are uh, turning him on. He's still jerking off to the cripple. Well, I hate to nip pick, but... <laughs> <laughs> I hate to nip pick, but uh, it's taking a while. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, this episode might really be the one. Look at that! Those what? are fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, see how they're gnarled? That's kind of how my moms were. That's like a 22-year-old girl. That's not gnarled. Go to the chick on the right. She's got a rough... Uh, <laughs> The only, the only one that looks Irish is the one in the back. These girls are tan. That's an Irish dame uh, back there. Yeah, she's bleach white. <laughs> she blends in with the snow. Yeah. Who are these girls? What's the origin of this picture, by the way? We got three topless girls in jeans on a skating rink. That's the new podcast here at uh, Stand Up Labs. <laughs> Irish nipples. <laughs> <laughs> that was the search bar. Irish nips. Oh, boy. You know what Irish nips sounds like? It sounds like a new drink. It does. we got to pick up some of those Irish nips for the road. Did you call those things nips a no. little shot? When I heard you say it, I thought you were t- coming on to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we got to wrap up. What happened in Canada? we got to wrap oh, this thing oh, up. Yeah. I mean, so I just want to say, did Portland, and I went to a thrift store in Portland. I got, I got new shoes. I got a new sweater. I got a new shirt. I love Portland. We went to a record store. I bought, how about this? I got three comedy records. I got Robert Klein, Child of the 50s, some Carlin record, and something else I can't remember. Oh, a Rodney record. And uh, I go, hey, man, I don't know what to tell you here. I love these records. I live on the other side of the country. And he goes, I'll just ship them to you. And I go, what? He goes, yeah, just give me your address. So he's going to ship me the records. It was $4. Yeah, that's what they do, these places. I didn't know that. That's why it's important to support these record stores yes. and these small businesses now more than ever because uh, I think this this guy, I don't want to talk political, but, but these corporations are taking over. Oh, yeah. And they're getting some nice uh, juicy breaks, and uh-huh. uh, we got to support. Yeah, so I got the records, and then we did the Moda Center, which is 14,000, sold out every seat to capacity, and this was the hottest crowd I've ever performed for in history. Hot! They were just ready to go, and I made a couple of Portland jokes. I made some like organic compost jokes, and just lapping it up. And it was just such a fun time. And uh, Schumer murdered. We ran out of there, jumped on a on a jet, and went straight to Vancouver. What a great city that is! Another huh? Couve. Yeah, I'm heading there tomorrow. Are you really? Yeah. With with Souk, Louis. Yes, Souk. I I put Louis and CK somehow, and I got Souk. Oh wow! Well, I said that's the famous Sue we were looking for. There Sarah, can you name a famous Sue? A woman named Sue who's famous. Let's chew on it, and then we'll we'll come back around at the end of the show. Sue on it. So uh, yeah, then uh, Vancouver was great. Had a couple tit picks, or what do you call those? Uh, Tim Nicks. And oh, right. uh, yeah, had a few of those, and then. We flew right down to San Diego after, no, right down to L.A. after uh, the, the Vancouver two-hour flight to L.A., stayed at the Grafton, went and saw The Arrival the next day. Arrival. What did I say? The Arrival's a different movie. People keep saying The Arrival. What is The Arrival? That's like some other silly movie. Is that that dumb Shelby's Tom Hanks it. movie? No, oh, that's The know. Terminal. The Terminal. That one was yeah. not enjoyable to me. Boy, that movie sucked. I really thought it was a P.U. <laughs> yeah, that accent was wacky. He was into jazz. We got it, Tom. Yeah. Stick to the other shit. So, uh, yeah, then we we, we uh, flew down to San Diego from L.A., which is like a 30-minute flight. San Diego is hot. Great venue. I jump off stage. I get right into a car, and I go, where are you going? I said, I got a red eye to New York. I took the red eye. got to New York at 5.40 a.m. on Sunday. Good to be back. Yeah. <clears throat> Happy to have you. Yeah. And fuck Australia. Yeah. Yeah, who needs it? I've been there already. I go once a year. I'm good. By the time this is over, uh, uh, that trip is over anyways. It's probably New Year's by this time. Huh? This is the last one of the year, I think. Is that right, Shelbo? I think uh, this is the last episode of the year. Maybe it comes out the 31st or something This crazy. is the 27th this comes out. Oh, all right. I believe. I believe it's December 27th right now if you're listening to this. So hope you had a good Christmas, and uh, we'll pick it up. Uh, we'll be more ever anal. Yeah, ever. I guess we just shouldn't record for a while. Anal green, yeah. But this is a classic, if you ask me. Is this all ours? This is four pages. We should we get a thousand dollars for God's sakes. Yeah, well, we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> oh, we got to give a shout out to uh, 
Madison and Seth for the Chipotle delivery. You guys sent this in the mail, and you guys are super gay. We appreciate it. We already put them up our asses. Yeah, how about this? I thought, uh, I read it, I go, wow, Madison. Sounds like a hot dame sending us gift cards. And yeah. then I look at the gift card, it says, this is not from a woman. Thanks, Mad. Yeah, appreciate you, Maddie. But uh, your name's gay. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. We love you, Mad. It's, uh, it's nice to have a girl name. It's a feminine name. Well, it's in a different time. I, you gotta identify as a homo or whatever. This episode might be the last one. I mean, we might just be done for. We're, uh, we're cutting out. I feel like this is it. This is a good way to go out, though. It was fun. Yeah, we saw we, Helen Hunt's tits. We had a good run, and we saw a crippled guy jerk off. And a uh, movie. And spill Pepsi. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, folks. Well, we're signing off. I think this is the end of a great year, right? I think it's the yes. hell of well, a year. 2016, my God. A lot of people, a lot of fun people died. We lost Cohen. We lost Bowie, uh, Bowie Prince. Prince. So many. I have too many to name. Yeah. Maybe. Who? Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. And, I think uh, a comedian died, too. Uh, I died on stage one night in May. That's true. Ellen May. Mike Nichols. Hey, he died. Was that this year, though? No. I think it might have been this was year. Was it? I think it was this year. Ooh. Patrice O'Neill. No, that was many years ago. Oh, all right. Well, anyways, a lot of deaths and uh, the death of the presidency as we know it. I mean, we got a wild one here. Yeah. But yeah. I'm holding out hope. Maybe it'll be all right. Who knows what'll happen? And uh, thanks for listening and call in. And we love you. Ch- send us to Chipotle. Yell at Chipotle. Hit us on the Twitter. Patreon. Face- for Patreon. God's Good Lord. We're, we're losing a battle of finances to all our... Less talented cohorts. We're embarrassing. Yes. You mean co-host? You're talking about me? No, cohort. I'm hurtful. You're not a hort. Tim Horton. Uh, but anyways, yeah, hit that Patreon page. We got a bonus episode every month, and then we got those call-ins that are yes. basically mini-episodes, which are fun. People are loving the call-in. And Shelby's slaving over these backgrounds, those little, what are you making? What are they called? A wallpaper. Yes, wallpaper. <laughs> Sorry, did you think of a famous Sue? Uh, that's a Suzy. Yeah. It's got, it's Susan is her real name. Uh, yeah. Susan doesn't cut it. We need a famous Sue. Sue. But hey, check out uh, Sarah's podcast, Vag. Sorry. With a V. A D G E. Vag. Every, when's it come out, Sarah? Every Wednesday. Every yep. Wednesday. Adrian Appalucci and uh, Sarah Talmash. Hot new pod. It's hot. This hot pod. pod. Hot pod. Pick it up. We've read the uh, lot of reviews. A lot of reviews from Tuesday's fans. Hey. Tuesday. All right. The twos gays are becoming vag holes. So I like it. That's not bad, Sav. Vag holes. For your fan name. Vaggies. All right. Vaggies is good, too. I like vag holes. How about anyone that comes from this podcast to yours is a vag hole, and these other twats, they're uh, vaggies. How about the twats? That's ours. Oh, we're twats? <laughs> I think that's one of the ones we threw out there. Oh, okay. All Tuesdays right. with a story... Oh, it's a twat. No, wait. T. Story ends with this S. Yeah, yeah. Twas? Twas uh, the night before Christmas. We need another T. Tuesdays with story. Yeah. What about Peggy Sue? That's, That's a Sue. Last name doesn't count. All right. If you're naming famous Bills, you can't say Sarah Bill. Oh, she's good. She's not famous. <laughs> All right. She is great. All right. That boy, we're running out of steam here. Yeah, steam's gone. <laughs> No steam. Hey, if this by the time this is out, I got a new website out. Finally. Hopefully, I think. Yeah, well, she's slow, this gal. That's, no, I gotta, I, I'm out. You're out of her? I got a good guy. You a went fan. Gay. I got a Tuesday you making my Tuesday? website. You got a Tuesday? Yes. You got a twat? I got a Tuesday making my website, and he's doing a hell of a job, may I say. What? How may, much? May Cheap? I gay? I don't want to tell you. You'll be hurt. Pro bono? Pro bono? No, no. It's costing me an arm and a leg, for God's sakes. But you are pro boner. But my arms and legs are little. Uh huh. Gangly. This might be one of the best episodes of the worst ending. <laughs> we'll pick it up. Check uh, out Vag. Check out Patreon. Check out at Joe List Comedy on Twitter. Hit my album. Are you mad at me? I gotta sell some more copies of that. God sell sake. a copy. And the special's coming out. Well, a few months. A few months, but yeah, yeah. Get that uh, DVR fired up. Get ready. Yeah, save some space, folks. It's a hot one. I'm editing it all week, and it's it's torture editing it, but it's gonna look good. Get ready, because this is funny. His name's Mark Norman. He's about to get money. Yeah. Are we doing these now? Let's do them after. Let's wrap up. All right, let's wrap it up. So thanks for listening. We love you. We're, we're gay. God sucks. Trump's weird. And uh, hit, the, hit the Patreon. And we're sorry for everything we said in this episode. The whole episode. Terrified. Terrible. Nah, toughen up, losers. <laughs> I'm very you're, sorry. You're all pussies. Very sorry. I'll see you in hell.
This has been a Stand Up Labs production powered by digital media. Subscribe to new and archive episodes wherever you listen to podcasts and find all of our shows at StandUpLabs.nyc. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Aha!